I'll show you how to create a video with AI just from a simple text prompt. Hello friends, are you a YouTuber, filmmaker or well, whatever, and you feel that why can't the AI just make a full video without me doing anything at all? Well, it kinda can. Today we're gonna look at a tool where you actually input a prompt, so input a text description of what you want and the AI will write you a script it will record the voiceover, it will gather the footage, like the video, and edit it all together for a final video. So let's go check it out because it's uh, it's really cool to be honest. Oh, and by the way, did you hear about the bossy man at the bar? He ordered everyone around. AI. I want a YouTube video on how to, let's do a YouTube shorts video, on how to start your own YouTube channel. Ever dreamt of starting your own YouTube channel? Let's break it down for you in 60 seconds. Step one, get a Google account. You Create videos with AI Copilot. It says there, think of any topic and in video AI gets to work. It generates your script, creates scenes, adds voiceovers and tweaks everything at your command. And it's free to test. And checking their site here, it says one box, unlimited possibilities. You can add instructions such as target audience and platform and customize the look of your video. And whenever you have a, a, a video, you can tweak it with text commands. You can make changes to what you have. Here in the example, it says narrate the video in, in a British accent. We're going to look at that in, in detail in a bit. They say you have complete editing control. So once you have a script, you can go back in and, and change the script to, to whatever you want. And, and that will reflect in the voiceover and, and the video as well. And how they do this, how they create all these videos is obviously the, the text and the voiceover that can be generated from scratch with generative AI. However, the videos are not uh, generated with generative AI because video quality isn't really there yet. So what they actually do is they have a tool that picks from stock sites. So you have like iStock, Storyblocks, Shutterstock, whatever. And based from the tags that those videos have, an AI checks from your script and takes scenes that kind of match matches the script. So that's super cool. Now, obviously doing like this, taking stuff from stock footage isn't free. So if you want to use this professionally, you're gonna need a paid option. I think it's uh, from 20 bucks is the lowest one a month, but that will give you fully licensed stock videos together with your generated um, script voiceover and, and full video. If you don't, if you just use the free version, you will get watermarks on your video. However, you will still be able to get the text and voiceover and just get the drafts or, or mock-up videos. Like I said, the free option here, you have 10 minutes a week of AI generation, but there is no iStock implementation. You will get the videos, but they will have a watermark. If you want to use this professionally, you're going to need the plus plan. There is no way getting around that. And if you do it yearly, 20 bucks a month, if you do it monthly, it's going to be from 25 bucks a month, but then you're going to have like unlimited exports and stuff like that. There's still a limit on how much you can generate, but if you're uh, filling that up, you can, you know, check out the, the max plan here. And something that it did mention to me is their 24 seven support. And they've been working hard with this tool, but it's also grown hugely popular and a lot of people are using it, which is why it's great to also have a Discord community, because if the support is at capacity, well, then you have the Discord. It's a larger community to be able to get support from. So once you log in, you're going to see something like this. So you have a text input here. We can put in a text description or a prompt. You can choose, for example, a workflow. You can choose like, I want a YouTube Shorts. I want a YouTube Explainer. But you can also type it and like, I want a documentary or on this and that. But let's do, I want a YouTube video on how to, let's do a YouTube shorts video on how to start your own YouTube channel. I want it, I want the voiceover to be in a Northern Irish accent. Make it snappy and professional text graphics on top. So let's try and generate this video. Now it's going to analyze what I said. So I wanted YouTube shorts video on how to start your own YouTube channel. I want the voiceover to be the Northern Irish accent, make it snappy and professional with text graphics on top. And now it says analysis completed. It's going to keep thinking here for a little bit. We have a title, kickstart your YouTube journey, a quick guide. I mean, that's fairly okay. I'm not trying to cherry pick anything at all here. So this is uh, actually the first take of this. So, uh, 
Yeah, I hope we're gonna get something good. Okay, here we have, we need to make some selections here. So you have the audience, aspiring YouTubers, content creators, or social media enthusiasts. Let's just pick aspiring YouTubers here, look and feel. Uh, let's do professional. We don't have a choice of platform because we said it's gonna be YouTube shorts. We have an option to edit the prompt, but we don't want that. We're just gonna keep pressing continue here. And now this part will take a little longer than previously, but uh, I'm gonna speed this up for your convenience, but I'll tell you how long it took. So after about two minutes, we're greeted with this. We have the start of a video, which is actually 59 seconds long. And YouTube shorts can be a maximum of 60 seconds. I'm seeing there is some text here. We're currently previewing in 480p. You can export in HD. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can change this to 1080. Uh, and let's, uh, let's have a quick look, shall we? Ever dreamt of starting your own YouTube channel? Let's break it down for you in 60 seconds. Step one, get a Google account. You can't have a YouTube channel without one. Step two, click on your channel under YouTube settings. Think of a catchy name that reflects your content and you're all set. Step three, customize your channel. Add a profile picture, a banner, and a channel description. Make it aesthetically pleasing. Step four, create your first video. Make it engaging, keep it simple, and remember, quality over quantity. Step five, upload and optimize. Use SEO keywords in your title and description. Congratulations, you're now a YouTuber. Keep creating, keep engaging, and watch your channel grow. Remember, there's no shortcut to success, but with consistency and creativity, you'll get there. Now go, turn those dreams into reality. I mean, that wasn't half bad. There were some improvements that we can do, but uh, in general, I think it was an okay starting point. So let's look, uh, let's press edit here. So what you can do now is, firstly, you can change the script here. Now, something I noticed that we didn't get yet the voiceover that uh, we were looking for, but let's see if we can change that as well. And this scene here didn't kind of didn't work in, um, you know, the standing format. It got cut out. And you can also change it. If you see here, if you press one of the, the videos, you can see at which part it runs at. So it says this one is about no shortcut, shortcut to success. And we have a subscribers here. Let's see if we can get something else. Subscriber. We're going to search here and we are getting a lot of examples. Now we're just getting, let's try success instead. Let's try this one. So replace, apply, and where was that? If you go, how far, there we go, up here, let's see. It's changing media here, it says. So if we go forward, um, let's check here again. Uh, keep creating, keep engaging, and watch your channel grow. Remember, there's no shortcut to success, but with consistency and creativity, yeah, that wasn't perfect either. It's gonna cut out. So we're gonna try, try and remove that as well. Change that to something else. Again, let's try success here. We are making it extra difficult for us since this is a shorts format. If you're doing like a 69 horizontal video, that's gonna be much easier. Let's take uh, this uh, dude standing around here with a confetti. I'm also gonna go back in and uh, I felt there was a lot of like smiling women in the beginning. So we're gonna just Swap one of those out as well. So search for YouTube here, see where that gets us. Here you have a person scrolling YouTube. Let's take that. I'm gonna change, get a Google account. Let's see if we put in Google. Do we have something there? Oh, a lot of Google. Here we're just gonna take this. No, he might be cut off. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's just do person using computer. Well, let's take that one. Let's apply. Uh, let's see here. I want a different voice over. Try a man, British or Irish. And let's press generate. It says, all right, let's switch up the voiceover. And it says scene one, regenerating voiceover. Oh, yeah, I actually put in Iris. It was supposed to be Irish, but uh, let's see what we get here. Ever dreamt of starting your own YouTube channel? Let's break it down for you in 60 seconds. Step one. Get a Google account. You can't have a YouTube channel without one. Step two, click on your channel under YouTube settings. Think of a catchy name that reflects your content and you're all set. Step three, customize your channel. Add a profile picture, a banner and a channel description. 
Make it aesthetically pleasing. Step four, create your first video. Make it engaging. Keep it simple. So this is much better already, I think. But I think the, the music is a little low key. Uh, it's very, uh, I think I want a little bit upbeat. So I say, let's change the music. Try something more upbeat, inspiring. And we press it generate and it says let's jazz things up with some upbeat inspiring music and like i said i'm not cherry picking anything here i'm just doing everything from scratch so you're gonna have to follow me through the complete journey here and uh, and that's mainly because when if you are to use this tool i don't expect it to be perfect in every way you're gonna have to you know change and tweak depending on what you want. So I want to show you the, the full workflow of this. So let's see what music we got here now. Ever dreamt of starting your own YouTube channel? Let's break it down for you in 60 seconds. I think it's a little better, but um, I think I want even more fun. I want it even more upbeat and happy. Snappy, funny, snappy fun. All right, let's, uh, let's check it again. Ever dreamt of starting your own YouTube channel? Let's break it down for you in 60 seconds. Step one, get a Google account. You can't have a YouTube channel without one. Step two, click on your channel under YouTube settings. Think of a catchy name that reflects your content and you're all set. Step three, customize your channel. Add a profile picture, a banner and a channel description. Make it aesthetically pleasing. Step four, create your first video. Make it engaging, keep it simple and remember quality over quantity. Step five, upload and optimize. Use SEO keywords in your title and description. Congratulations, you're now a YouTuber. Keep creating, keep in. I like how it says, congratulations, you're now a YouTuber. Because, I mean, it's, it's not a protected title. Make a video and say you're a YouTuber. Who cares? I mean, I have, what is it now? Oh, a bit over 70,000 subscribers. I don't even say that I'm a YouTuber. So, you know, make one video, say you're a YouTuber. Who cares? Grow. Remember, there's no shortcut to success, but with consistency and creativity, you'll get there. Now go, turn those dreams into reality. So, I mean, I'm fairly happy with that. We spent, what, like 10 minutes to, to do this? And if you didn't want to make any of the changes I did, I mean, you get a video in like, what was it? Two minutes to create and one minute to give, give the prompt. Not even that, maybe. So you can get a, a like with export and everything, you can get a proper video in about five minutes. That's uh, that's fairly nice. And once you're happy with it, you have the, the export button here. You can press export video. Depending on your plan, you have different options here. It says if you don't want the watermarks nor the uh, NVIDIA AI branding, you need to upgrade to one of the paid plans. But if you are on a free plan and just want to test it out, if you want to make mockups, whatever, you have, you can do stock watermarks and normal NVIDIA AI branding on it. So there you have it. Thank you NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. I think it's actually a very cool tool. Now, obviously it's a little limited in the free version, but I mean, what can you do? They need to pay their bills. Uh, if you want to use this tool, like I said, it's from 20 bucks a month. So uh, check it out. As always, have a good one. See ya.